morning, day five at last. Um, not used to these uh, five early morning starts, half six. So it'll be good to have a lie in tomorrow. Uh, it's just short and sharp today, it's only back training. One of my favourite sessions of the week. I'm only doing one body part really, but I do also have to do low back, mid back, and upper back. So uh, start off with pull ups, do some rowing, do some deadlifting, and then finish off with some back extensions with a bit of back endurance. So see you shortly. A few reps on the chin up bar, nice and wide grip. Uh, just to get my lats warmed up, get my arms, shoulders warmed up, no weight added. And then I steadily just had weight until I struggled to get out six reps. I think I'm working up today, I think going back to my records, it works up to about 30k on the belt. I have done 35 with a struggle, but I've not managed to do six reps with 40k yet, so that's what I'm going to be working up to. Then I move on to bent over rows. Trying to stay as strict as possible within the realms of max OT training. Controlled cheating, as uh, Skip LaCour likes to call it. I hate to see people doing bent over rows, which end up becoming an upright row. So try and keep my torso roughly around 45 degrees. Once I feel I'm coming up into an upright row, I know I've gone heavy enough and I need to stop. Then on to seated rows. I've already warmed up, so they do probably two sets on here. Uh, but because the weight's under, uh, I think it's under seven or under fifteen kilos on the stack, it's a good thirty kilos heavier than me, so it pulls me out of the seat. So it's quite tough. Back onto my favourite hammer strength deadlift machine. I actually remembered my wrist straps today, unlike the other day when I forgot them and had to keep readjusting my grip. I like the machine because you, uh, you can get in between the bars, you don't have to worry about banging it on your shins. The only problem with it is the rubber grips. When you get sweaty hands, they tend to slip. So it's not ideal for... Uh, for heavy stuff unless you have got some either chalk or some wrist straps and also as you can see <laughs> couldn't fit any more weights on the side and when I finished they all fell off and then I just finished with some Swiss ball work I'm finding my low back endurance is not what it used to be since I've started doing max OT so I'm just doing some slightly higher reps just some gentle low back work with a bit of uh, rear delt work with the light dumbbells And here we are in the studio, finishing off with a slight bit of posing practice. Uh, don't do posing practice every week, because I'm having a year off. I tend to 
struggle to motivate myself to practice, but I'd like to every now and again just go through the compulsories, keep them fresh in my mind, and it's been good to watch the video. Uh, not carrying that much body fat for an off season or a year off, trying to just steadily build up my weight. I want to compete next year around 84, 85 kilograms. So hopefully when I come back or if and when I come back, I will be hitting around the 84, 85 kilogram mark. I'm currently weighing in, in this shot just over 89 kilograms. Well, that's the end of the last session for the week. I uh, hope you enjoyed having a glimpse of Max LT training. I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but I've definitely, definitely improved this last nine to 12 months doing this abbreviated sort of training. Uh, at the end of the day, it's not, it's not powerlifting. It's not Olympic weightlifting. We're trying to create an image for the stage, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm currently having a year off. Just showed you a little bit of posing. I'm trying to stay a little bit leaner all year, and hopefully you saw I'm not not carrying too much excess weight. So when I do decide to compete again, it shouldn't be too taxing. So thanks for uh, watching. Have a look at the AST website www.astss.co.uk, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.